This was a comment that was put up by uh, Shaha88 uh, 17 hours ago, and it's on the short, the YouTube short that Vocab Malone put up. GMS say uh, Queen is going into slavery, right? Again, this is a comment from Shaha88. It says, I don't really care about GMS, but I think that vocab is too obsessed with the camps. And it's really weird. It makes me wonder if in some way they are telling the truth. And he's talking he or she, I don't, I don't know if it's a he or she, is talking about GMS and the different camps, right? This individual is starting to wonder if we're telling the truth based upon Vocab's weird obsession for the GMS camps. Okay, he's following us, you know, the stuff that he's doing. To this person, it's weird. And it's making this person wonder if we're telling the truth. It makes me wonder if in some way they are telling the truth, at least about their identity. And, and what is the truth? That we're the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's part of our doctrine. That's part of our message. That's part of the ministry, right? Check your heart, vocab. Make sure that everything is clean about it. I saw your parodies and there's something fishy about you. So this is a direct rebuke by this person to vocab. And he had to reply. And I'll read to you his re reply in a minute. But this is a good thing because the people that have been following vocab and may not have had any idea about the Hebrew Israelites, uh, in particular GMS, now they're being, through vocab and his weird obsession, now they're being exposed to it. And some of them will actually inquire about it. And some of them may even believe, start to believe that we're telling the truth, especially about our identity, like this person wrote in this comment. And this is an example of, uh, what is that, Job 12 and 16. So here this vocab thinks through his uh, folly, that he's been doing, he thinks that he's going to destroy, you know, with his folly, he's going to destroy the movement of the Hebrew Israelites. He's going to stop the truth train, you know, but in actuality, he's actually helping it. <laughs> and this reminds me of the scripture, Job 12 and 16. Job 12 and 16, which says this, it says, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So both the person being deceived and the one who's doing the deceiver, they both belong and are controlled by the Heavenly Father. Remember, there's no such thing. We teach this. There's no such thing as free will. You know, as it is written, man's goings of the Lord. The Heavenly Father controls everything. Yahweh Shai said it best. A sparrow don't fall to the ground unless... The Heavenly Father sanctioned it. So the Heavenly Father is controlling this deceiver vocab, right? The Heavenly Father is controlling him and making him do what he does. And he thinks he's hurting the ministry, but he's really helping it, as that comment proved. His weird obsession. The Heavenly Father put that reprobate spirit on vocab to produce that weird obsession about uh, the Israelite camps, namely GMS. And other people are seeing it and analyzing it and saying, hmm, I wonder if those guys are really telling the truth. Which is why vocab is so weird, weirdly obsessed with those with those people. You see? So all praises to you, Habashim Yahushai. Um, and his folly is only going to go so far. His shtick, vocab shtick, his folly is only going to go so far. Okay, it's not going to amount to anything. As it is written, the gates of hell shall not prevail against this knowledge, this truth. Okay. Uh, let me bring to you one more scripture. Okay. 
This is the book of uh, Job 5 and 13. It says this. He taketh the wise. So this guy Vocab thinks he's being wise in his folly. And it's only a matter of time till he really realizes that. And by that time, he'll, he'll be ready for his judgment, whatever that may be. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So he thinks he's being crafty, vocab. And he, he's definitely working for, you know, there's somebody have their hand in his back. Because he's nothing but a puppet. And somebody has their hand in his back. Okay? Which means he's nothing but a puppet. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. And that's that's what this guy has. The counsel of the froward. Let's look up the word froward. Uh, froward of a person difficult to deal with, contrary. And that's him. Everything we say, according to this truth, he has a rebuke, a rebuttal. I'm talking about this guy vocab, and then he's very flippant, he's very loose with his mouth, he's very flippant, flippant concerning uh, events that have happened to our people to help destroy our nation. You know, he's very flippant, because he, he, doesn't, he doesn't feel like we deserve any respect. So he's very flippant with his mouth concerning events like slavery that's happened to our people, okay? So he's definitely a forward person. All right, there's no doubt about it. Okay, but like scripture said, it says again, Job 5 and 13, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. So eventually this folly that he's on, this weird obsession, and I'm quoting this individual here, Shaha, right? This is the biggest news story right now. There he goes right there. I'm quoting this individual, Shaha. Let me see if I can find it. I'm quoting this individual, Shaha, who says that this guy has a weird obsession. And then that remark that he made about Elder Pastor proves it. That was just a weird remark when, when the brother asked him what heathenistic kingdom is ruling right now, pursuant to the image that Nebuchadnezzar saw. With you know the image of the of the man with the the head of fine gold, you know which Daniel, the prophet Daniel interpreted it, you know when he got down to the the legs and the feet, that's a reemergence of the Roman Empire, and that's the answer vocab should give. But what answer did he give to the brother when the brother asked him what heathenistic kingdom is ruling right now? Vocab says the only heathen ruling right now is the one ruling over you. That's Taha. That was a weird answer, and it was not funny. It was about as funny as a dead baby, okay? I mean, this guy has no flavor. It, it, he's a forward person. He's a flippant, forward person. That's what he is, all right? With, with all the charm of a rattlesnake, okay? And, uh, and like I said, you know, he's a... He's, he's, uh, he has a weird obsession, you know, quoting the words of Shaha. Now, this is his reply, right? Now, listen to this. Now, once again, he's trying to be flippant, but his reply was, yes, I was recruited by the Jesuit FBI agents from the Vatican to do work with the CIA and the Illuminati. Also, I'm not truly Sicilian. I'm actually a secret crypto Jew. You've exposed me. Well, beginning with his name, Risa. Risa. Risa does not sound, or Risa, Risa, however you pronounce it, does not sound Sicilian, uh, Sicilian to me. Most of the Sicilian names end with a vowel, okay? Um, Risa does not sound Sicilian, okay? And we know that your mother is Sicilian. Well, we, 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 this is what you've said. We know what you've said. Your mother's Sicilian. But your father was a so-called uh, German. Okay, the Risa goes back to a... Uh, uh, it's a German uh, so-called Jew name, Risa. Okay? And your nationality does not come from your mother. Your nationality comes from your, from your father. But the so-called Jews believe this. The so-called Jews believe that your nationality comes from your mother. 
That's what they believe. Okay. So, you know, I, I replied to him. You know, I, I had to. On the Apostles Live GMS, I, I replied with the scripture here. Fear them not. This is scripture. Matthew 10 and 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. Yeah, so eventually the Holy Spirit will expose everything. Everything. Include you, vocab. You're not above the Holy Spirit exposing you. Okay? And exposing your, your, your folly. Vocab, in time, you will be an open book. The Holy Spirit will see to that. Till then, keep supplying us with your father of folly. Yeah, we appreciate it. And we really do. This is why I'm doing this video, by the way. And he replied to, his reply to Shaha was, notice he didn't reply to us. His reply to Shaha, uh, and I say us because I see another brother from uh, GMS, the main camp, GMS Watchman. And he replied by saying, <coughs> by saying, um, and he puts a, a series of scriptures. Uh, there's nothing you can do to stop the elect of Israel from waking up to our gospel, which is true. And, and being sealed, even when you think you're frustrating attacking our ministry, everything works in our favor as it is written. Yeah. Even, even the, the, the comment here made by Shaha. Shaha says, let's read it again. It makes me wonder if in some way they are telling the truth. Yeah, because this guy is so weirdly obsessed with us. This guy vocab. So any thinking person, so obviously this, this, this individual, Shaha, I don't know if it's a woman or a man, obviously this person is a thinking person. This person ha have their thinking cap on, okay, to make a statement like that. It makes me wonder if in some way they are telling the truth, at least about their identity. <laughs> and uh, the person came to that conclusion based upon the weird obsession of vocab. Okay, uh, let me finish read the comment by GMS Watchman. There's nothing you can do to stop the elect of Israel from waking up to our gospel and being sealed. Even when you think you're frustrated and attacking our ministry, everything works in our favor. Yeah, as it is written, because prophecy must be fulfilled. Then he, he gives a few scriptures, Second Corinthians, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Excellent scripture, uh, Job 12 and 16, which I just read. The, the deceived and the deceive are his. Uh, John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice, yep. Uh, and, they, and I know them and they follow me, yep. And then he ends by saying, people can see through your tacky work, chow. Yeah, and that, and that joke, his tacky work, a uh, good example is that joke. That joke was so tacky. It was so tacky, <laughs> inside, inside joke. There's something uh, Yashuan said to me, uh, you know, he's one of the, uh, he was one of the top teachers at the school, One West, 125th Street, Yashuan. He once said to me years ago, why are you so tacky? Because I wasn't the best dressed, I wasn't the best dressed person in the world back then. You know, <laughs> it's going through hell. So he said to me, why are you so tacky? And then he said, who's your camp leader? I said, Tar. I said, why are you so tacky? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is an inside joke, but yeah. An example of that is tacky work, and even even more tacky is his jokes. When when the brother asked him about what heathenistic kingdom is ruling, and he goes, "The only heathen ruling over you is Taha." I mean, I mean, yeah, that was tacky. You would have to see it, the video, to know what I'm talking about. It was just tacky. But then again, this that's a tacky dude. Anyway, I'm gonna end it there. Hopefully, you were edified. On to the next one.